Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline from Nitty House Square and today I have a very different video. <laughs> so we just got a puppy a few weeks ago. This is Lola right here, currently eating her dinner. And the vet and also one of the dog trainers that we're going to recommended that we get her something to eat out of that kind of exercises her brain as well. So this is one of the alternatives they gave us. And basically what it is, is it's a whole bunch of ties and then you hide the food in all the ties so that she has to search for it and use her nose to find all of the food. So currently we're doing it where she gets most of her food in a bowl and then some of it we sprinkle all throughout this mat. So I figured I'd show you real quick how I made this one for Lola. It's, it was very quick, very easy. It's completely made out of fleece. So that way it is washable as well. So let's get started. So starting off first with the fabric I'm using, these are all different fleeces from Joann's. And because I know this, <laughs> this item is going to get a lot of wear, what I did is I just went over to the clearance bin where you, they have like the pre-cut or the end of the bolts. And I picked out three colors that somewhat match. So I have my backing is going to be this cute buffalo print. And then I have two solids to make the actual little tassels and things like that to hide the food in. So in total, all of the little remnants were 75% off. So all of this was like $9. So that is perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm cut, going to cut the backing out of this buffalo print right here. For the backing, I cut one piece of fleece that's 17 inches by 17 inches. And you will see here that I cut two pieces. That's actually because I'm making two of these. But for this project, you just need one. And now I'm going to work on cutting some strips that I'm going to tie together. So using this little piece as an example, what I did is I cut a one inch strip. And then after I sew them all on, I'm going to tie them in little knots going in opposite directions so that then you can hide the treats within here. So to make those ties, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my two contrast colors and then my leftover backing color. And I'm going to cut a total of 16 of these rectangles and each rectangle should measure 16 inches by 9 inches. I'll put that all up in the screen. So now I'm cutting those 9 by 16. So I have roughly 9 inches wide and then I'm going to cut each one to be just about 16 inches. And the nice thing about this is they don't have to be perfect. Like you can see my fabric dents in a little bit there. Never going to be able to tell. Okay, so next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my front and backing pieces. So just my front portion. And I'm going to make sure I have the top side facing up. So if your fleece does have a front and a back, you want the front side up. And now you want to take one of the panels that you're sewing on and fold it in half. So our goal is that we want to sew these panels onto this backing and we want to add one just about every inch. So I'm going to go in about an inch and a half. I'm going to unfold it and then I'm going to mark right where that center point was with a few pins. Now I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew right down that center portion. Take those pins out and I'm going to fold this one over. And again, I'm going to grab another one. So I'll grab a different color this time. And just about an inch further over, I'm going to sew on this piece going all the way down. Again, you can find the center by folding it in half. Sew all the way down. Now, none of these have to be perfect. Like you can see the two sides of this one weren't exactly half and half. We're going to tie these all into knots and it's all going to get basically like mushed together. So it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to go roughly an inch over each time, sewing on a new one of these pieces. Now 
So now I have a whole bunch of pieces sewn onto my backing. I'll go through and cut all these threads later on. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and my mat, and I'm gonna start at the furthest most strip, either side, that I've sewn onto my backing. And I'm gonna lay this down so that there isn't any backing that I can accidentally cut into. Right, so it's just the strip of fabric laying down. Now I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and mat and I'm gonna go along here and cut roughly one inch strips. Once I finished one, then I'm gonna fold that one under and move on to my next strip. And again, do the exact same thing keep on going all the way across. So after cutting all of those strips, this is what it now looks like. Let me organize it a bit. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start tying different ones together. So I'm gonna try and alternate between going kind of like horizontally and tying two of those strips together and going vertically and tying sets of two together. And I'm just gonna keep on repeating this all the way across. If you want to too, right, you could just cut these different lengths and just have it sit like this, right? There's a lot of different ways they could dig through this as well. Thank you so much for joining me today as I showed you how I made Lola's mat. You guys, as you can tell, she definitely is enjoying it. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you next time.